Hello everyone, this is Driving Magic, and today we're going to look at the show and tell questions that are under the bonnet of the car. First off, we need to open the car bonnet. In every car there's a lever somewhere in the driver's compartment to do this. Find out where it is by checking your car manual. In the Mini, this is in the passenger footwell, here. Give it a firm pull. Next, head to the front of the car and look for a bonnet release catch. Some of them are hidden inside, pull the catch and lift the bonnet. If your car has a support prop uh, to hold the bonnet, then make sure that you use that thing so it doesn't fall down. On with the questions. Question. Open the bonnet, identify where you would check the engine coolant level and tell me how you would check that the engine has the correct level. So, what we do first is identify where the engine coolant is. That's the one I'm pointing at right now. The way you're going to recognize this thing is by the symbol on top. It looks like a thermometer symbol. That's how you remember it's about temperature and the word coolant. Then we go down to the side of the container and you can see a line here. The coolant should be filled up to that line. That's as simple as the answer can be. Don't complicate it. Next question. Identify where the windscreen washer reservoir is and tell me how you will check the windscreen washer level. So this is the one that I'm pointing at here. This is identified by this funny looking symbol. It's meant to represent the windscreen and something spraying up on top of it. So you can make of that what you will. Next we have to figure out how we can see the level. And on most cars it's a see-through container. So you can actually see the level uh, inside the reservoir. There's no minimum or maximum on these. Next question. Open the bonnet. Identify where you would check the oil level and tell me how you would check that the engine has sufficient oil. This symbol that I'm pointing at here is the oil filler cap. It's meant to represent an old fashioned oil can with some dripping out the side. This thing that I'm pointing at down here is called the dipstick, believe it or not, and that's what you use to actually measure the level of oil. What we need to do now is pull this dipstick out. Uh, it's quite a long piece of metal. So you need to pull that thing all the way out. As we've been driving around, there's lots of oil splashed around on it, so we can't get a good measurement until we clean it. So use a piece of tissue, make sure that's all cleaned off. Now if we have a close look, you'll be able to see on top that there's a maximum mark and a minimum mark. We want the oil to be between these two when we take our measurement. So we put the dipstick back in, make sure it goes all the way down and properly engages. No good putting it halfway in. And when you pull it out, you're going to find that somewhere halfway up there is our level. And that's exactly what we want to see. It's between the maximum and the minimum marks that we saw before. If there's not enough, all you've got to do is fill some up in the filler cap that we mentioned earlier on. All right, next question. Open the bonnet, identify where the brake fluid reservoir is, and tell me how you would check that you have a safe level of hydraulic brake fluid. The symbol that you can see me pointing at now is representative of the brake fluid. It looks very similar to the handbrake symbol on your dashboard, if you ever noticed that. It's meant to be a wheel with two brakes clamping on the outside, but it just looks like a circle and a couple of brackets to the untrained eye. And if we look down the side of this one, very common on most cars, you'll see max printed there and just out of shot underneath that you would see min or minimum printed so pretty obvious that it should be between those two levels very easy that wraps it up comment with any questions or requests for new videos uh, remember to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe thanks for watching driving magic